Okay, hopefully you guys wrote this down. Um, so those are the questions that you're asking yourself. I just wanted to cover one of the problems with you on your homework so that you don't get confused. Um, so here we went ahead and <clears throat> just put the graphs on there for you. Um, if you want to see it in color, you can. Remember, you can just put this in Y1 and Y2. So the second problem is negative 3x minus 7. And you're going to ask yourself, so there's your original. So here's f of x. <coughs> and here's n of x. So that's just so that you know which one's which. So did it reflect? Did it shift up or down? Did it become steeper? Or did it become less steeper? So did it shift down? Well, yeah, I would say it shifted down. How many units? Well, you can either count them out or you can know that since it says minus 7 that it shifts down 7 units. Did it become steeper or less steep? Well, based off of that number, that means it's going to, actually based on the 3, sorry, based on the 3, let me rewrite this. Based on the 3 alone, since the number is bigger than 1, then it does get, it does change, and it changes by getting steeper. And did it reflect? Is there a reflection? Well, based off of this negative, it does reflect. So that's what it, all it wants you to do. So you're answering these three questions by either checking it, and if it doesn't, just put an X on it. So those are the so those are the ways that you're going to answer those questions on the front. So on the back, <clears throat> so let's look at number nine very quickly. So we're changing the slope. So the slope is currently three, and we're going to change it to negative two. So our new equation is going to be y equals negative two x minus two. So again, you can either know your questions or you can just put it in the calculator. So your original is 3x minus 2 and we're changing it to negative 2x minus 2. And I'm going to graph these. So is the new line higher on the y-axis? Well, as you can see, they're both on the y-axis at the same place, so this is a false statement. So that's all you would put is false. The graphs intersect at the y-axis at the same point. Would you agree? Yes. So you would put true. So the new line is less steep than the original. So looking at this, which one would be the higher one to, to or the harder one to climb? So actually since 3 and 2 are the two numbers that you're comparing. 2 is smaller, so it does um, become less steep. And did the original line rise from left to right? So from left to right, did, it, did the line go up? The original line, which is our blue line. Yes, it did, so you would put true. And that's how you would do these, pro these problems. Okay, remember, these questions will help. Did it reflect? Did the line shift? Did it uh, become steeper or less steep? Y'all have a good day.